So I want to talk about panpsychism and panexperientialism, particularly as it relates to uh, Whitehead's philosophy. Um, now, both these are basically saying the same thing, namely that, uh, that consciousness or subjectivity or phenomenal experience uh, doesn't emerge at any one point, but actually goes all the way down the chain of being. So that, say, the tiniest, so that, say, a quark might have some sort of experience that, that there's something that it that it's like to be a quark. Um, now, panpsychism was the traditional term for this, uh, but um, people often get the impression from that that you think that that means you think that rocks can think that they can ponder the universe or, or whatnot, and it's you know, most adamantly not what it's not what it's saying. It's saying that. Uh, there's uh, that at a certain that you know the subject there is emergence in subjectivity there are, there are different levels of subjectivity but uh, that you know certain certain uh, structures allow for greater emergence so so that you know a rock you know it may not have any unitary consciousness but there but sort of the, maybe the atoms that within the rock have some sort of experience. Uh, or you know there may actually be some experience with the rock, but it's n but it's not going to be anywhere near like what like what we experience as subjectivity. Uh, it's just sort of a will have, have, have just sort of a felt experience of being a rock. Um, so, but um, uh, David Ray Griffin coins the term pan experientialism to try and clear up that confusion. I say no, no, that uh, you know. I'm not saying that that everything uh, that everything thinks, but we're saying everything has experience. Um, I think this is a a, a good um, it's an interesting insight, but I think uh, what it kind of detracts from another of Whitehead's ideas, namely that Whitehead thought that each actual occasion, because he didn't see the he didn't see the universe as composed of things, but rather of events, which he called actual occasions. But his idea was that uh, actual that each actual occasion has not only uh, experience; it, it not only has both a physical and mental pole, but actually, um, uh, but actually has free will. That each actual occasion has sort of an opportunity offered it. Offered to it by God to become something else than than what its uh, ch chain of past causation uh, has uh, has would lead it to be, um, and so it's hard to, uh, to and, and, like, it, if you talk about experience, that sounds like a very passive thing. Yeah, you're uh, you're experiencing something, but you're not. Uh, it denies any sort of agency to that. And Whitehead was very emphatic that. Each occasion has a certain agency in the in the universe that it, it has its own uh, self determinacy in becoming, and so I don't know. I think panpsychism may actually uh, convey that a little um, a little better, but yeah, I'm not sure that there's any term that can really convey this thought. Uh, so it's uh, but so yeah, I. In a sense, I think maybe maybe, maybe panpsychism would be a better term, but panexperientialism is, you know, it could also clear up cer certain confusions about that term, but uh, but it create but as I said, it creates its own confusions, so uh, something to think.